Hi friends, this is the last video on bidding. You are so close to knowing everything you need to know to get started on bidding. So in this video, we're gonna go over a few specific bids to get you started. And after that, you're gonna be ready to go. So let's jump in. Okay, so the player that dealt the cards is gonna be the one who goes first when it comes to the bidding. And they have to decide, should they bid or should they pass? How do they decide? Turns out in Bridge, there's a pretty specific rule that you need to have 13 or more points to make that very first bid of the game, which is called the opening bid. So if you're the dealer, you look at your hand and you don't have 13 points, you're gonna pass and it's gonna go on to the next player and they're gonna see, do they have 13 points? And if they do, then they can make that first bid. If they don't, they're gonna pass. And actually if all the players pass, we're just gonna redeal and that's the end of the game. So that's how you decide whether you can make that first bid or not. And it makes sense because when you're making a bid, you're bidding to make more than half the trick. So you probably want a better than average hand. So 13 is kind of the point that most people have agreed on. And so that's that rule. So now that you know whether you're gonna bid, you need to decide what to bid. And for that opening bid, again, we have some pretty specific guidelines that people have come up with over the years to help to decide what you're gonna bid or not. Now, your top priority is always hearts and spades because you wanna figure out if you can get to game in those two. And so if you look at your hand and you have five spades, you're gonna bid one spade. And if you don't, but you have five hearts, you're gonna bid one heart. So those are your kind of top priority bids. If you've got five hearts or five spades, you're gonna bid those. Second priority is gonna be no super suit. And so you're gonna bid one no super suit if you've got at least two cards in every suit. You ideally wanna have a high card in every suit. And you also want a really specific point range of 15 to 17 points. And again, this is just a convention. So people have usually done it this way. And it's um, something that will then tell your partner really specific things about your hand that you have this range of 15 to 17 points. So that's your second priority. And you'll notice that we're kind of starting low. So we always start with one because uh, you know each bid has to be higher than the next. So we wanna give ourselves some room to make those higher bids. So bid one hard or one spade if you can, otherwise bid one no super suit. And as a last resort, bid one club or one diamond. And to decide which one, just look at whichever suit you have the most cards in. So in bridge, when you're picking your super suit, the number of cards you have in the super suit matters more than the high cards. And so you're gonna wanna bid either clubs if you have more clubs or diamonds if you have more diamonds. If you have an equal number, most people will bid diamonds first, such as the convention, but that should cover all of those first bids. If you have 13 or more points, that's what you're gonna start with. Okay, in this example, Prince counts his points. He's got 15 points he can open. He doesn't have five hearts or five spades, which is his top priority, so he can't bid one heart or one spade. He does have at least two cards in every suit. You might say there's no particular suit he's more compatible with. So he bids one no super suit as his opening bid. So now let's say that your partner has made the opening bid and you're set up now to respond. So you're making that responding bid to your partner's opening bid. If they open, they told you a lot about their hand. They told you they have 13 or more points. They told you something about what suits they have. And it's your job to now tell your partner what you have in your hand. And the rule of thumb here is if you have six or more points, then you must make a bid to respond. If you have less than six points, then you pass. And when you pass, you're telling your partner, I have a terrible hand, I have less than six points. So if you have a really bad hand, pass. If you have six or more points, you must bid. Now that you know, what to, that you, now that you know whether or not to bid, how do you decide what to bid? So again, same rules of thumb here. If you've got hearts or spades, you wanna bid those. If your partner bid hearts or spades, so let's say that your partner's opening bid was one spade, that means they have five spades. And if you have three spades in your hand, that means you guys have eight spades between the two of you. So you wanna support your partner and tell them, hey, we have a good fit in spades. And so a good responding bid for you would be to bid two spades. So one spade, then two spades. So you can say, hey, I like your spades too. Now, you only have to have six or more points to make a responding bid, but you might have a lot more points. And so you can kind of bid higher if you have more points. So maybe you have more points, so you wanna bid three spades. Maybe you have a lot of points and you're like, I'm just gonna go for game right off the bat and bid four spades. You usually wanna give a little room, so you know you have to look at your hand and decide, but um, 
Those are some options if you actually have more than six points. And again, your top priority is to tell your partner, hey, do we have hearts or spades? Now, if your partner didn't bid hearts or spades, but you have five hearts or five spades, then you go ahead and bid those. So let's say your partner said one diamond and you have five spades, you should bid them. You should go with one spade. And a general rule of thumb for bidding new suits is that you really wanna have at least four or five in that suit when you're responding to make a bid. And again, if you don't have any strong suit and you think that having no super suit is a good fit, you can always respond and say, you know what, I'm gonna bid one no super suit um, or two no super suit if you have a really good hand. Uh, and so you know, use that intuition to decide how you're gonna to respond to your partner's opening bid. Okay, so the last specific bid we're gonna go through is called the overcall. And this is what happens when the player on the other team has made the opening bid. And so now you're in a position of making a bid kind of over them. That's why it's called an overcall. And so in this case, you wanna have at least 10 points to make an overcall. And you wanna have at least five cards in the suit that you're bidding. Now let's go over a full round of bidding, putting it all together. In this example, the lobster is dealt the cards. So that means the lobster goes first in the bidding. The lobster counts his points. He's got eight points. To start off the bidding, he needs 13 or more. He doesn't have it, so he passes. Next up is Frida. Frida counts her points and she has exactly 13, which means she can start the bidding. Her first priority is to bid hearts or spades if she has five cards in either of those suits. Because she does have five hearts, she bids one heart. By bidding one heart, she's painting a picture of what's in her hand. She's an excellent painter. Next up is Prince. Now that Frida has opened the bidding, Prince needs at least 10 points to jump in and compete with an overcall. Prince does have 10 points. Prince also has a lot of diamonds and clubs. That's all he can offer. He hopes the lobster will be happy with that. And so he jumps in with a bid of one club to start because he has five clubs, which is more than four diamonds. Wait a minute, that's not right. Each bid has to be higher than the last and clubs is lower than hearts in the suit order. So Prince corrects his bid to two clubs. Nice try, Prince. Next up, we have David. David's partner, Frida, told him that she has hearts. David's top priority is to determine a good fit with Frida for that super suit, which is eight or more cards. And because David has four hearts, that means they have nine hearts together, which is a good fit. David also needs at least six points to respond to the opening bid. And he has nine, so he's good. He bids two hearts. Back to the lobster. The lobster has eight points, so and more than six, and he has nice clubs. So he jumps in to compete and raises his partner's clubs, saying three clubs. Frida now needs to decide whether to keep bidding higher in hearts. She has exactly 13 points, and while she has pretty good hearts, um, she doesn't have that much more than what she promised with her opening bid, and she decides that she needs to face the reality of her hand and paint that. So she passes. Prince also ha passes, not wanting to go higher. Now, David knows that he has that extra fourth heart, and he actually has more than the six points he initially promised. He has nine, so he raises to three hearts. The lobster decides to pass because four would be very high. Frida also passes, declining to go to that game bid of four hearts because of the minimum 13 points in her hand. And with Prince's final pass, the bidding ends. That means the final contract is three hearts. Frida and David need to make nine tricks with hearts as a super suit. Because Frida bid that super suit first, Frida's the declarer and David's gonna be the dummy. Now we would begin the play portion of the game. Hopefully that's enough to get you guys started in terms of the bidding. There's so much more that you can learn when it comes to bidding, but um, these are some like pretty basic ones that most people know and uh, you know, that, that should be enough to get you started. So you now know everything you need to know to play uh, basic bridge, both the bidding and the play. So congratulations, that's a huge accomplishment. And next up, the last video, we're just gonna do a quick little overview of scoring and then you're good to go.